I was very weak and tired and like, I don't know, lethargic, unmotivated. <laughs> Amy Fisher is breaking her fast, but for the past 14 hours, she had nothing to eat or drink. It was cool to think like why I was doing it, not just I didn't have time to eat or something, like I was doing it consciously, it was cool. Cool and educational. I, I thought it would be a neat challenge and learn a little bit more about like the Muslim religion. Other students like Jamie Murdick had a different motivation. I'm also producing a documentary with two classmates in my documentary productions class, so we are doing it about Ramadan, so I thought it would be really cool if I experienced it for a day. Fasting was hard. It was not easy. For the Muslim Student Association, the annual fastathon means something more than just exposing students to the Muslim practice of fasting. Each student who fasts signs a pledge form. After we get the pledge forms together, we count them up and we find businesses to sponsor the fastathon. It's all for a good cause. All of the money that is raised goes to the Cultural Cup Food Bank. For these students, the fast ends with a call for prayer. And knowing going hungry for a day may mean others won't. Tempe, Zabi Holonuri, Cronkite News Watch.